with all the hype continuing from legend of dragon ball tale there are still plenty of theories ideas and concepts to talk about and this one i'm sure is an interesting piece to go off of so let's get right into it what's going on everyone it's your boy Uj, and of course we are back again once again how y'all doing today? So today we're going to be talking about Emperor Vegeta. And yes, I say Emperor and not the original King Vegeta because it is in fact something that was already revealed and confirmed just off of the credits. If you pay attention to the credits, you'll actually see that one of the characters that had a voice was in fact Emperor Vegeta. So there shouldn't be any kind of debate or anything like that, which I don't think there's a whole lot of folks out there still referring to to Emperor Vegeta as King Vegeta, but just in case there are any lingering stagglers or whatever, now y'all know. So there's a couple points that I wanted to bring up about Emperor Vegeta and some things that I wanted to talk about on this episode of legend theories because let's face it there's so much more to talk about still and at the time of this recording uh legend has already been out for almost two weeks and people are still excited and really hype uh, for what the future may hold so let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I want to just kind of get off of my chest, and I'm sure a lot of people have been waiting for me to talk about this. This is actually something that was brought to my attention loads of times. Because of that, I can't necessarily just plug everybody, but I do want to, of course, admit that this was something that I did not originally see myself. So shout out to everybody that left a comment in all of the previous videos letting me know and basically like you know putting me on to this very statue and what is so significant about this statue you might ask well this painting is actually a really great piece of art and it's like a really super dope background but it's not just about how pretty it looks it's literally the content in what we are literally shown right before our eyes so i pause it right here because i want you guys to follow my mouse okay you see my mouse over here i want you to follow it i want you to follow it i want you to follow it and oh my god Look at who Emperor Vegeta is standing on. Yes, that is exactly who you think it is. That is Frieza. That is literally what a lot of us have been theorizing and contemplating about. And let me just continue to play this short little opener right here so that we can see right now the time and the place. The place, Planet Vegeta, the Hydra Galaxy, and the time, AF31XX, New Dominion. So guys, what am I saying? I'm pretty sure I can go on a limb and say that that statue all but confirms that AF literally means after Frieza. <laughs> And that's awesome. Imagine that. We actually, as a freaking community, literally figured out some factual shit. And honestly, how else could it be written? See, I went from thinking it was a nod at Dragon Ball AF in the first in the initial reaction video, which is that shit's at fucking like 60,000 views. That that's insane, right? Like that's, that's 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 ridiculous. But anyway, this is the first thing I wanted to bring up. Vegeta, Emperor Vegeta, is standing above a deceased frieza a defeated frieza right and at this point in time this is 31 xx so this is a long time into the future okay in this continuity of legend this is actually kind of crazy just because of the time difference that where in which this story takes place from this point on so let's get into that, my next point that i want to talk about my son Stay strong. Your crown is here, and your kingdom awaits your return. All right, so I played that clip and I let it rock because, you know, who doesn't want to freaking see Legend over and over and over again, right? And the reason why I wanted to play this uh, again to bring up, to start, you know, this next point that I have here is the idea that, and I haven't seen a whole lot of people say this recently at least, but when, the, when this show or this movie 
first came out, a lot of the, the first initial thoughts were that people thought that this was the original Continuities Vegeta. And I just wanted to acknowledge that. And based on what we are here to talk about and based on the context and if we are to really believe that this is in the year 3100 something i don't know if we can really go with that anymore okay and let's be honest like i know that you know in this continuity time can work a little bit differently at least with how the saiyans age and whatnot versus earthlings but that will be for uh its whole separate video when i go ahead and talk about how far into the future are they so Obviously, if you're not already subscribed, make sure that you are. Hit the bell for the alerts so that way you guys can look forward to all of my future legend content because there's, like I said, there's plenty more to talk about. But as of right now, I don't think that this is the original continuity Vegeta, aka the Vegeta that we all grew up with. I really believe that this is actually like a brand new Vegeta for this story. And again, this is a Vegeta that is around this time period where it was in, you know, the year 3100 something, you know, 31XX. That's literally what it's saying so the other thing that i wanted to talk about is that did vegeta this vegeta did he actually defeat frieza himself or is it another idea that i you know definitely pulled from the comments right and again a, a good amount of you were saying this so i'm sorry for uh no direct citations here of you know everyone that said it because again it was it was quite a few of you that mentioned this was it bardock okay now the funny thing is a lot of you guys are talking about some ideas that are kind of out of the ordinary in the sense that there are really no clues or indicators that would say otherwise that would prove that yeah bardock was the one that actually dealt with frieza right now i don't me personally i'm not shutting it down completely but what i am saying is that there's really not enough evidence to pull from to make that assumption that bardock had anything to do within this story as we show it i mean i have said in the past in you know other videos that i've done for legend that there is a possibility that there might have been another goku maybe around this futuristic timeline that caused a lot of this retrieval and destruction missions that of course the new king vegeta was given because obviously those missions was to take out broly and to retrieve goku to retrieve goku why well again we'll get it we're gonna obviously get into that into another video when we talk about the war so again a lot of a lot of content to look forward to for now i just wanted to at least acknowledge that because i know a lot of you guys have been talking about that in my comments and there there's your you know mention right there a lot of folks are guessing or they're coming up with this idea that bardock has some sort of involvement with this maybe because obviously you know like i was saying before if we are to believe that there was another goku in this timeline and had something to do with the outcome of defeating frieza that would also imply that obviously his father would still be bardock in this continuity as well and maybe bardock had something to do with defeating frieza and maybe it was king vegeta or obviously emperor vegeta that stood atop a fallen frieza and that's basically where you know that monument that statue came from so i mean it's a nice little cool concept that folks have been coming up with do i really believe it uh not yet i i still need a little bit more to really believe that bardock is you know in this continuity or story at all it would be really cool to see how he would play a, a part in this because again another reason why a lot of people are saying this is because they see how goku and vegeta worked alongside to defeat broly in this so people are wondering if that same thing happened to bardock and emperor vegeta right the other point that i wanted to bring up to you guys is right in the description of the movie itself the synopsis right so it says here given diplomatic orders by the grand council vegeta now king of the saiyan sets out on an interstellar assassination mission i highlight this and i bring it up why because my question in relation to emperor vegeta now is is he a part of this grand council now one would assume that of course he is like why wouldn't he be but you have to look at the context of the story itself because so far all we see is king vegeta sitting at a throne or i'm sorry emperor vegeta sitting at a throne and he goes my son stay strong he's basically 
giving him like you know like you know how a parent will tell their kid to be safe and be careful whenever they you know they go out and they're they, they go out on a venture or some shit like that and with emperor vegeta he's essentially doing that to his own son and reminding him right that you know his his crown or is still here and the throne will be awaiting your return right i thought in this sense that i wonder if emperor vegeta was kind of like filling in for him at the time because it does seem like the way the whole class system works with the saiyans is because he's the emperor and why is he the emperor guys because he fucking defeated frieza <laughs> Think about it frieza was has been known as the emperor of like the, the whole everything right the the galaxy whatever and now that frieza's done now it's basically vegeta now who is the emperor i don't think they've ever had emperors like that it's just been king right king vegeta and then the prince of all saiyans right we've never had any kind of reference or mention to the queen if they ever had that right but you know don't worry about that shit <laughs> But as far as this goes, like I said, my question, is he a part of the Grand Council? Who is a part of the Grand Council? Who is the Grand Council? So let's talk about that for a little bit. So the, some of the ideas that I came up with at the top of my head, right, could just be that they were just a council of other Saiyans, right? I didn't want to overcomplicate it and make it seem like, oh, but maybe this could be like where the Kais are involved, like the Supreme Kai, North, South, you know, like all those Kais, right? But when you think about it, that's kind of a little bit of a stretch. And, and that's even to say, that's like, that's like, that's like a further stretch also to even go as far as assuming or thinking like maybe the, the the this grand council could consist of like beerus and weiss aka the god of destruction and the accompanying angel right but again because this is a brand new and very unique and original continuity a lot of things can be shifted around from what we understand from the original continuity and really come as a surprise when it comes down to this shit because in my mind, I'm just like, hold on. I think the Grand Council is just a council of high class Saiyans that, you know, run their government and all that shit. And now maybe that because Emperor Vegeta is essentially the emperor of not just their planet, but you would have to imagine that this is the new dominion. This is the 31XX. Like shit is different here. Okay. So we have to have those thoughts in our head when we have, when it comes down to think about this Grand Council, right? And was it emperor vegeta that ordered this okay so again like there's a lot of things that even now we still don't necessarily know but this is stuff that we can obviously talk about and maybe continue with the theories hopefully maybe that you know i'll have a follow-up to that if any of you guys have any good ideas about that so of course make sure you guys are liking the video and commenting your thoughts in the comment section below but again i do have to ask since he was given the diplomatic orders by the grand council are we gonna assume that emperor vegeta is definitely a part of that or is it something that he might be affiliated with or knows of that was given that they were the ones that actually gave king vegeta the orders to go do what he had to do and why did they send him and not emperor i mean who knows but the fact of the matter is the new king vegeta has been training his whole life for this moment and what was that moment to defeat broly and to i guess you know in turn get kakarot for whatever they need him for which is actually a really good transition because the one thing i definitely wanted to talk about in relation to emperor vegeta now is the war okay so now again this the war is gonna i'm gonna have a separate video for the war we're gonna talk about we're gonna to talk about what the possibilities of this war could be but the reason why i wanted to end this talking about the war in relation to emperor vegeta is i i really want to know if there is some sort of higher problem that is gonna involve emperor vegeta because as we saw in that statue my man defeated frieza okay and if we look at the original we know that frieza has a brother and we also know that frieza has a father and we also know that frieza technically also has a son i don't know if they're gonna go as far as including kuriza i think is uh the, th the son's name for frieza is but yes frieza does actually have a kid for those that don't know but either way i bring all the all these ideas and, and characters up because is the war going to be something that is led by a vengeful brother 
of Frieza's and is Emperor Vegeta going to be involved? Because again, this man literally took out Frieza. We have to assume that he's the one that did it, right? Whether we want to headcanon or like, you know, you know, fantasize over what actually could have happened in that fight. Well, now the whole idea is that there's a war coming and they sent Vegeta back in time to literally go get Goku. So something crazy is about to happen and the fact that they need to go all the way back, like over 1100 years just to freaking go get Goku, if that's how we're supposed to believe the time. Again, another video we'll, we'll be talking about explaining that will happen in the future. So yeah, Emperor Vegeta, man, is he gonna be a part of this war or not? Are we gonna actually see Emperor Vegeta fight? Okay, because outside of video games, we never seen this dude do shit in regular Dragon Ball Z. The only thing I can remember is when he blasted Paragus in the freaking gut. I don't ever recall him doing a single thing except giving orders. So if a part two is coming, I would like to see King Vegeta throw hands. Oh, I'm sorry, Emperor Vegeta, but you already know what I meant. All right, guys. Well, that'll do it for this Emperor Vegeta video. If you enjoyed it, definitely let me know. And if you have any furthering theories or ideas, concepts that maybe I didn't acknowledge or I missed or something that you wanted me to talk about a little bit more in another video, definitely let me know in the comments as well. Make sure you guys are joining my Discord so that y'all can continue to have a space outside of the comments to talk about Legend because I will say I love all the support that I am getting, but sometimes it is very very hard to keep track of the amount of comments that i do get because again it is a lot of y'all but that's okay because legend is that fire i know i know i know it gets me excited too and i love talking about this so again don't worry though because i got plenty more legend videos planned out and that i will be delivering to you guys in addition to the full power podcast so if you guys have not subscribed to the full power podcast channel please go ahead and do so again i just want to take this time again to thank you guys so much for supporting the, the the channel like the channel has been growing so crazily over this this fan project and honestly like like i said before this literally is my favorite piece of media of all time so that being said drop your comments like subscribe share out this video let's keep talking about this and more make sure you guys are having a good one may the power protect you keep it locked good right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i'll see you guys next time